Welcome back everyone. This is kit number seven. It has a titanium base with white highlights. This is one of the many looks that you can get using our epoxy countertop kits. If you're ready to remodel your countertops, order your kit today. All right, so primer's ready, it's tacky, it's not pulling up anything on our gloves. We're gonna be doing kit number seven on this with a titanium base coat and a white highlight. So another, uh, again, another simple technique. I've already got my titanium mixed up. Like we always teach, we're gonna go down the middle. Hey, since we're gonna be blending the colors with a, a, a Bondo squeegee, um, we don't need a 3 8 snap roller. So I'm using a foam roller. That way I don't have, run the chance of getting some roller hairs in there. Because again, we're gonna blend the highlight color with the squeegee and not swirl it or something with the roller. So. Now that it's all kind of spread out, I'm gonna start moving it closer to the edge. Again, I don't wanna run it off just yet. Kind of get it right to that edge. Top's done, edges are done. Again, if you're doing a backsplash, you're gonna coat that as well, just like we did the, the, the front edge here. Now we have our white pigment. It's already been mixed for me, ready to go. And I'm gonna just drizzle out some skinny veins. I'm probably not even gonna use half of this because I want really subtle veins. So all these open spots without white, we're just gonna go around and add a little color. So 
So now we're gonna take our, our Bondo squeegee. It's just a flimsy little plastic squeegee. And this is how we're gonna blend it. Now we have a good amount of white throughout the counter. Again, it's not a lot because we've maybe used three ounces out of 21 ounces. So, so now we're gonna take the clear isopropyl and we're just gonna spritz this. It's gonna help blend that white and give it some really cool looks. And you can, you don't have to spray the isopropyl. If you don't want cells and stuff in it, then uh, don't spray the isopropyl, but I really like the way that it moves the metallics and the white pigment. So again, I'm just spritzing smaller drops. I don't want to get big puddles out there. Hey friends, thanks for watching this video. That was kit number seven. If you want to purchase this kit, click on the link below to order yours today. Don't forget guys, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome projects. See you guys next time.